everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys, coming at you today with an unboxing of Daft Toys, The Dark Knight Joker. This is the bank robber version from the original Dark Knight movie, the one that Heath Ledger played, which was probably my favorite bad guy character. Um, Heath Ledger Joker was, bar none for me, my uh, quintessential bad guy. So he did a good job, and this is a great set. So Daft Toys, uh, I'm not sure what it stands for, but you can see how they spell it, Daft Daft Oys or Daft Toys or Daft 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 Toys. Anyway, if you know what that stands for, leave that in the comments below. If you don't, then you're right in the same boat with me. So these guys make a lot of figure kits. They make some figures, but they make mostly kits. And kits meaning they don't have a body, okay? So let's go ahead and open this up and show you kind of what's what. Great art box, by the way. But this gives you an entire outfit for the Joker bank robber version, mm. along with the gun. So this is almost a Hot Toys clone. Bolt does move, stock does fold. That's pretty cool. Magazine does pop out. And they take a lot of their, say, inspiration from Hot Toys, okay? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and lay that there. If you know what kind of gun that is, leave that in the comments below. You get a fantastic outfit, and this is the suit. Let's just go ahead and pull this out of the plastic real quick. Really quick, he says, and then you can't pull it out of the plastic. So normal. All right. You get a tweed suit, it looks like, with some socks. Yes, these are socks. We had a guy return socks the other day because he's like, the socks have holes in them. Well, yes, they do, sir. Uh, the holes are for the peg, which then goes in the shoe. So these socks do have holes in them. That's correct. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and lay those there. It does come with a button-up shirt, which is really nice. And then it does come with your suit. Pants and your suit and this little flappy flap right here is for a grenade and i'll show that to you in a minute okay but that gives you everything you need to make your own bank robber joker along with hands so these are all gloved hands these have some great little positions on them so some for holding knives some for just joking around like the joker does and then some with uh, expressions so you can pose and do whatever you want and display your figure however you want it does come with a watch. Nice watch, by the way. Daft Toys make some really good stuff, so they do a really good job. That's a nice watch. I'm going to use that watch, actually. And then we have a G pistol. G whiz, that's nice. And then slide does move. Magazine does come out. A little bit blocky and stocky, but that's the color from the movie, okay? Next, we have a secondary tray, and this is where you get a ton of good stuff, all right? So we have some shoes. And I'm not sure who makes the shoes, but there's some shoes for you. And they are peg type, so you can actually take pretty much any body that you currently have and put all of this stuff on, all right? Next, we have a poop ton of grenades. That's right, that's a poop ton. That means that's a lot. Uh, you do have some smoke grenades. This is white smoke. And these are really nice. They got the metal pin on there. And I like them in the gray because you don't see a lot of the gray which is the white smoke. So let's go ahead and pull all these guys out. Then we have his drop knife, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then we have this little grenade, and I'll show you that in a minute. Then we have his shotgun. I love these shotguns. If you've ever shot a shotgun like this, by the way, the pump does move. If you ever shot a shotgun like this, tell me how, how uh, nice it was. Tell me if it was super comfortable to shoot because <laughs> for me it wasn't so then we have his bag and i'll show you this this is super cool so the zippers do function and you'll see kind of what we do with all of the grenades here in just a second that does open and you got a lot of space in there okay next this is your grenade rack and this right here actually inserts into the bag and you put all of these grenades right here on the rack Two different types of frag grenades, baseball style, and like a pineapple style. So. Then we got all the cool head sculpts. So we have a Joker mask, and it does have the eye holes cut out. 
These are awesome just to make bad guy figures if you want to make bad guy figures, but you could paint that if you wanted to, um, or I'll just leave it like it is, but I, I love it. Love these things. Next, you have a Heath Ledger Joker Sculpt. Good paint app. So you can see it's kind of dirty, dirty with the green hair. And then you have a Joker Clown Mask Sculpt. And you can see this is the mask that's actually molded to a head sculpt um, and it does, is not removable essentially. So, and you do have some seriously dark eyes, which is really cool. So, great looking head. And that's everything in the box. So, this guy right here, this is the grenade that he has in the movie that tucks under his jacket. So when he gets caught, he has this little pin right here, which you could then say, use this hand for. Um, you'd probably want to put it right there, but it doesn't quite fit, but you kind of get the idea. This goes in here, it's hidden. And when he gets caught, he could always pull that grenade and drop out of sight or blow himself up. So if you know what kind of grenade that is, leave that in the comments below. Then we have the drop knife. Now, drop knife does actually pop out. So you have that, and then you have his knife holding hand, which is right here. You can see that's perfectly cut for the knife, okay? So all in all, tons of really, really, really good gear. Let me just show you this grenades real quick. And if you don't know where these things go, there are these things called pictures online. Um, if you do know where they go, then you're, you're smarter than me, but you can see how they sit. Yeah. And all of these grenades will tuck into here. Look at all these grenades. So many grenades, so little time, so much stuff to blow up. So little time, but you can kind of see how they all fit in there. So you can imagine what a great display. I mean, all the grenades and then you throw that in a bag. So many goodies to play with. So all in all, fantastic set. Um, if you like building Joker figures like I do, then you're gonna love this. This is something that I just completed yesterday. Again, figures are always work in progress, but I wanted to build a Joker based on what I wanted to see on him when he actually robbed a bank. So I can kind of go through this with you. This is a custom head sculpt. And I'm not sure who made it or who painted it, but it's uh, got more of a black hair to it. And then the face makeup is just, they did a killer job painting it. So this is a similar suit to this. Um, so again, you can make your own, but I decided to go ahead and make my own custom version. I put hand solo hands on him because I like the, uh, the flashy gloves. Um, these are hot toy shoes. This suit right here was custom made so I'm not sure who actually made it, but it's a custom made suit. And then we have an easy and simple AR with a short barrel. So an SBR, short barreled rifle. And then I chose a little chest rig right here, which I modified. I took up, took off a whole bunch of stuff. This is from many times originally. And then I took off a whole bunch of the pouches in Velcro. And then I got this little guy, which holds the pistol magazine pouches. He's got his grenades in here. And then he's got his M4 magazines in there. But I wanted something more low profile and skinny. I chose a belt right here. That's from VCF Toys. That's actually a female sized belt. Um, because this is on a, uh, a slim figure. So a slim Hot Toys body. This is the original Hot Toys bag. And he does have their grenades in there. I'm not going to open that, but yeah, I think he turned out real good. And then if you see on the back, I wanted to put a pistol on his belt. And that is a cross draw on the small of the back. So you can't actually see it when the coat's down. So what about the shirt? And the shirt is also a custom shirt. I'm not sure where I got that either. So I have a lot of parts laying around. Basically, I have a box full of Joker stuff. And... I decided I wanted to make a new style bank robber. So I think he turned out super good. Um, if you like that, let me know. And if you think I should add something to him, uh, leave that in the comments below. I'd like to hear what you think. Um, anyway, yeah, great set. Great uh, for a Joker fan, great for a bad guy. Um, if you wanna make a bad guy for your good guy. So if you like this video, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new and extremely really, really cool content. Like this guy.